your homework for tonight is uh, the odds on problem set from lesson two. So one, three, five on this side, and on the next page, seven and nine. Okay, before we begin, I want to point out a couple things. Okay, these things always hold true. You need to remember these. Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Vertical angles equal each other. Right angles equal 90 degrees. And angles in a right angle add up to 90 degrees. I'm going to refer back to these as we're doing our homework tonight. On the homework, number one says, Two lines meet at the vertex of a ray. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of C. Okay? So the first thing we need to do is figure out our equation, all right? If we look at this picture, we see that the, this angle right here is labeled C. This angle right here has that little square that means it's a right angle, which means it equals how many degrees? Right angles equal 90 degrees. So we can label this 90 degrees. And this angle, which is labeled 17 degrees. I look here, this is a straight line. I'm going to use a marker here, color this in. Okay, this is a straight line. Okay, there are three angles that make up this straight line this angle, this angle, and this angle. Okay? We know what two of them are already, and the third one is our C. So I know that angles on a straight line add up to 180. So if I take C plus 90 plus 17, I can set that equal to 180 because those three angles equal, make a straight line, straight line, 180 degrees. Combine 90 and 17. I get 107, so C plus 107 equals 180. Subtract 107 from this side. Subtract 107 from this side. I end up with C equals 73 degrees. This angle is 73 degrees. Okay, number three. Two lines meet at the vertex of a ray, set up and solve an equation to find the value of W. Okay. Once again, I see this little square here. I know I'm going to label this right off the bat. This is a 90 degree angle. Okay. So I know this angle, I know this angle, I know this angle. Hmm. Well, if I look back to our notes, we know that vertical angles equal each other. And vertical angles are angles that are cross from each other. So this angle, we'll call that angle A, we'll call this angle B. Since they are across from each other, we know that A equals B. Okay? Vertical angles are equal to each other. If we look at number three, okay, we can see that this angle right here Okay, is 125 degrees. The angle that's across from it is this angle here. And that angle has two parts to it. It has part of it is a 90 degree right angle, and the other part is labeled W. So I can say that 90 plus W, if I add these two angles together, it's going to equal 125 because these two angles, this purple angle and this purple angle, are vertical angles across from each other, and we know that vertical angles are equal to each other. So here, we'll just subtract 90 from this side, subtract 90 from this side. W ends up equaling 35 degrees. Okay? Number five. Number five, there's no right angle, so I can't label anything right off the bat. But it is important for this one to remember that vertical angles equal each other. Okay? So we can label this. This angle right here is labeled 34. This angle that's right across from it must also be 34. This angle right here is labeled R. This angle right across from it would also be R. 
degrees. So now I'm looking at this and I see a straight line in here. Okay, I see this straight line right here. And so I'm gonna turn my paper so that's a straight line across here. I see that there's three angles in here. This angle right here, which is already labeled 34 degrees, this angle right here, which we just labeled R because it's a vertical angle to this angle right here, and this angle right here, which is 122. If I add those three angles together, straight line, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So my formula will be 34 plus R plus 122, those three angles will equal, because it's this, this straight line here, 180. Combine my 34 and 122, I get 156 plus R equals 180. Subtract 156 from this side, subtract 156 from this side, I end up with R equals 24 degrees. Good, moving on. On the back, number seven, okay? This actually is a lot easier uh, to look at visually, even though the problem is a little bit more involved, okay? So it says set up and solve an equation to find the value of x. Find the measurement of angle AOB, angle AOB, that's this angle here, okay? And the angle of BOC, BOC, that's this angle here, okay? I see that AOC right here, that's a straight line. I know that all the angles on that straight line add up to, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So therefore, if I add this angle to this angle, they're gonna equal 180. So this angle is labeled 2x minus 15. 2x minus 15. I'm gonna add it to my other angle which is 11x. If I add those together, since this is a straight line, it equals 180, okay? Now, I'm gonna use algebra. I'm gonna combine my terms. See why we learned that before? Comes back, okay? 2x plus 11x is 13x, not plus, minus 15 just comes right down, equals 180, okay? Now, I do the opposite here. This kind of looks like division because I'm making little points here, okay? But it's 13x minus 15 equals 180. I do the opposite to get rid of this, which is adding. I'm gonna add 15 to each side, end up with 13x equals 180 plus 15 is, 195. Okay, so now I get 13x equals 195. I divide by 13 on this side, divide by 13 on this side. With the calculator, I end up with x equals 15. I am not done. I need to find the measure of these angles, and neither of these angles are labeled just x, so I haven't done that yet. So angle AOB, I'm going to write angle AOB equals, well, it's labeled 2x minus 15. 2x minus 15. Okay. And actually, I'm going to do this on a separate sheet of paper because it's really small. They do not give you enough room here. But I'm just going to copy it over. Angle AOB equals 2x minus 15, okay? Now I know what x equals, because I found it right here, x equals 15. So I'm gonna plug that in. So I just plugged 15 in for x there, okay? Order of operations, I'm gonna do my, uh, my multiplication first. Two times 15 is 30, minus 15. 30 minus 15 is 15. Therefore, angle AOB equals 15 degrees, okay? Now, I need to figure out 
angle BOC, which is labeled 11X. Okay. Angle BOC equals 11X. I know that X equals 15. I found that out before. So I plug that in. 11 times 15 is... One sixty five. I could do a quick check because I know this is a straight line. One sixty five plus fifteen. It's a straight line. It should add up to one eighty. Zero. Carrier one. Eight. One. One eighty. Boom. It checks. Got it. So therefore, on our paper, we're going to label that angle AOB equals 15 degrees and angle BOC equals 165 degrees. Okay, we did the work on the separate sheet. Last one, number nine here. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of X. Okay, find the measurement then of angle AOB and BOC. Once again, I see that this is a straight line with two angles, okay? One angle is labeled 4x plus 5. The other angle is labeled 5x plus 22. Angles on a straight line equal 180. So 4x plus 5 plus 5x plus 22. I'm adding these two angles together equals 180. Okay? So now we combine our like terms. Okay, 4x plus 5x equals 9x plus 27, because 5 and 22 together equal 27, equals 180. Subtract 27 from both sides, I end up with 9x equals 180 minus 27 is 153. Divide by 9, divide by 9, x equals... 17. If you plug 153 divided by 9 into a calculator, you'll get 17. So now we need to find the measure of angle AOB and the measure of angle BOC. Okay? Once again, I'm going to use a separate sheet of paper so that's a little easier. Remember, X equals 17. I'm actually going to write that right on the top here. So X equals 17. Okay? So now we need to find angle AOB, which equals 4x plus 5. Okay. Plug that my x value in. 4 times 17 plus 5. Okay. 4 times 17 is 68 plus 5. 68 plus 5 is 73 degrees. Therefore, angle AOB equals 73 degrees. Second thing I need to find is angle BOC. And that equals 5x plus 22. I'm going to plug in my 17 and for x, 5 times 17 plus 22. And I'm going to do my multiplication, 5 times... 17 is 85 plus 22. 85 plus 22 equals 107. Therefore, angle BOC equals 107 degrees. Once again, we can check those two straight lines 73 plus 107. Add them up. 10 carry the 1. Eight, oh, 180. Boom, we got it. So therefore, on our paper, we're going to write that angle AOB equals 73 degrees and angle BOC equals 107 degrees. Homework done.